Welcome back, everybody. My name's Aprater54, aka Adam, coach of the McChesney Park Slowpokes, and I bring you week number two of YCL Season 9. Today I'm facing off against arguably probably the strongest player here, or one of the strongest, so I don't offend some people. But Blottle, coach of the Halgen High Dragons, is a very experienced battle. I've been battling him since Sword and Shield. He is a monster, a consistent powerhouse, and he definitely does bulky offense justice. Like, he doesn't stall. He just manipulates a game. Like, he... Hold on. Let me re... Before I... I want, I want to reference the non-stop. Let me state the team. He has Iron Valiant, Mama Swine... Reggie Steel, Serena to stop priority, Terra Captain Typhlosion Hisui, which is fire fighting grass. He has a Sableot, he has a Toxapex, he has a Kilowatcher, a Cresselia, a Terra Captain Munchlax, which is normal fairy and steel, and last round Samurai Hisui. So he's capable of launching off a move to set hazards. He can spin hazards away. He can Will O Wisp and Thunder Wave my team down with Sableye. But he also has the combination of AV Serena, Thick Fat Mammoth Swine to stop all of the fire spam on his team and the electric moves that he is weak to. But he also has Toxapex, Cresselia, and Munchlax. Those are walls themselves, but Blottle does it differently. He may bring a wall or two, but he is not going to consistently beat you down with it. He is not that type of player. Uh, for example, like he's not the type of player. He's he wouldn't want to bring Calm Mind, uh, Store Power, Chris, sell you to this match or Reggie Steel because he knows he wants a good offensive battle with me. So what I'm predicting is a SD Iron Valiant punching me in the face the second he gets an opportunity. So I am incredibly terrified. There's just one problem. I did not double check to make sure the uh, the Twitch bot, I believe I used Barachan for this one, gave me the correct Terra. Uh, this whole team design in front of you falls apart because Electivire is not Terra flying. The goal is to drop this in front of Iron Valiant and click Terra Blast flying which I can no longer do now. So, that's a problem. I can no longer one-shot even a max HP, max defense Iron Valiant with booster speed. Because I'm not Terra Blast Flying. That's on me. That's a auto... Basically, in prep, that is a auto-loss situation. Because I designed a team to fluctuate around that, and I can't do it. Now I have to try and have Galloging Fire be the punching, uh, uh, well, the breaker. And I also forgot to take Substitute off of Araquanid when it should be Leftovers, but it's fine. Uh, it's not going to play too much of a factor. The expert belts just to guarantee a two tap on max HP, max defense Serena, which that's beneficial in itself. And I'm also trying to be bulky enough to get sticky webs up and spin block Serena, which is one of the reasons why Duck Snore is here. And we're going to see how it goes. But. Another reason why Dust Noir is here is you see a choice scarf there. This is max attack, uh, max uh, speed, and this has zero IVs in defense, minus defense nature. There is a purpose for that. What this is here for is Husui and Samurai lead. I outspeed it. Frisk allows me to tell, let's see, if it's Scarf, if it's Scarf, I swap. If it's not, I stay in, click Destiny Bond, Ceaseless Edge connects, kills me, takes Samurai with it. That's immediately one less Mon for me to deal with. 
Trick is also here to give to the Iron Valiant, say if it is the Sword Stance or SD set, I trick it a Choice Scarf. Okay, so it has to lock into the next move it clicks. If I resist what that next move is, I can swap into anything here, resist the move, force it out. Now it no longer has its setup. It'll still have its plus speed, but it's not going to hit as hard, especially if it's a max HP, max defense variant, to be able to take a Terra Flying uh, Terra Blast for me, for example. It'll chew one by roll because I am not a boosting item. I am protective pads because I do not want to walk into Toxapec clicking Baneful Bunker. That is the only logic behind that move. And yeah, we're going to roll with it. We have booster attacking, um, sorry. Yeah, it's booster attack gouging fire with dragon dance plus iron head two taps the uh, munchlax. I just hope it's not one specific munchlax set in general. I'm praying that he is not the encore or the Roar Mux Munchlax, because if he is, he yeets me the fuck out, and there's nothing I can do after that, because I blow my load on the booster energy, and I just get yeeted. So, we'll see what th happens with that. Next, we have Corrosion Glamour, because like I said, he's got a Serena. He's got um, a Toxpex, a Registeel, and a Cresselia, and a Munchlax. Toxic will hit everything on his team. Reggie's still setting up iron defenses and body pressing me is a absolute nightmare, especially if it's heavy metal with heavy slam. I believe it's heavy metal and light metal that it gets, or is it clear body and heavy metal? I can't remember. But just launching off body presses into me is something I do not appreciate. So if that thing iron defense is up, I can't do anything. It's as simple as that. Cresselia, the Calm Mind Sword Power set with Resto Chesto can just turn the tide of the entire game. If it's Trick Room plus the Calm Mind Sword Power, I just auto lose because the only thing that under speeds the Cresselia on this team is the Araquanid. And if I set webs, that pumps into his trick room, his mons outpacing me. So this is a double-edged sword. Next, we have Gliscor here. Oh yeah, uh, Glamora's power gem, earth power, and mortal spin to remove hazards and catch anything on the switching. Gliscor's earthquake, dual wing beat, protect, and knockoff. Pretty standard set. This does not help me against the uh, Iron Valiant. I was back and forth between running Focus Sash Agility and then overwhelming the Iron Valiant as a last resort, but I just brought a Toxic Orb one. I could have saved this whole build before locking in by checking the Terra and just making an edit on this Glide Score. That probably would have been fine. But we'll see how this game goes. But Electivire is here with Ice Punch, Low Kick for the Reggie Steel, Knock Off for everything else. Ice Punch still um, does 50% to the Serena. It can't one shot me back unless it's banded. Arachnid's here with Leech Life, Liquidation, Substitute, and Sticky Web. Originally, this was um, Leftovers. I don't know why I changed it to Expert Belt, but. It's got substitute for no reason. Should have saved and set the body slam if I'm going to run extra belt. But it is what it is. We're going to hop on into the battle. This is a little bit longer of an intro. But I'm explaining the massive threat of Blottle. And I uh, hope to just not get 6 0 by this guy. So without further ado, let's hop on into the battle. And I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, we are back. So there is no Reggie Steel, no Toxapex. What am I looking at? I am. Hmm. Alright. 
So I'm very, very, very concerned now. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to do it. Might as well. Samurai Hasui did not come, so my whole Choice Scarf Dust Noir set might be completely pointless. But I went and chose fun this week. Um, all of his walls are not here. I guess he respected me enough not to wall me out. So, we'll see how that goes. Sushi. What's sushi? So we are both choice cards. <gasps> I'm just going to do this. We are both choice scarf. All right. All right. Should I have gone Glamora first? Yeah. Is there a mortal spin blocker? No. Mortal spin. Catch something coming in. He wasn't Terra Steel as one of his Terra types, was he? If so, I might be in a little bit of a pickle. What are you doing? Lancer swaps. Sushi. All right. We power gem in case he stealth rocks. And he missed. That is unfortunate. But since you're going that, I'm going to use this opportunity to swap out out of fear. Cause what's Noel? Uh. 
We leech light. Sorry, liquidation. Cover every possible switch in. I want to toxic this thing. I tricked this thing as choice scarf. I am golden. Defense drop. Lefties, all right. I, me too. We're gonna go hard into this. We pulled you guys. Hard into this. Dragon Dance. Iron Head to flinch. Because you could be Terra Fairy. Let's go! Smack this thing in the face. Flinch, please. Fine, that's fine. What's your iron head switch on on your entire team? If you think it's Kill the Watchel, it is not. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye, Tubby. Birdly. That's fine. Encore ends. And you don't like this.
You are one iron head away from being slit. Knock off no matter what. Oh, wait. The, uh... I forgot about something. If he would have missed a hurricane, that would have been definitely interesting. Any Ironhead flinches there would have been the entire game. Which, we live by those. We die by those. What's Chris? The Valiant? Let's see if my HP paid off. Let's see if my HP paid off. I believe that is GG. <laughs> Because I did not go terror flying. We protect. Triple Axel. Ice Punch. I do not need you anymore, Voldemort. Man, if I would have been Terra flying, that thing would have been dead. That's on me. Props to him for making that thing bulky to all hell. Liquidation and pray. Nope, that's GG. GG! I chose the incorrect Terra and that mattered the entire game. That and not getting webs up. Getting what? Not getting webs was my flaw. And that mattered this whole game because this would have been a booster attack instead of booster speed. 
and then I could have spin blocked the Serena. Yeah, I, I misplayed this so much. But GG to my opponent. He's going to take a nice 4 0 win. Uh, webs would have mattered so much. Not setting the webs was vital. Hey, we live and we learn. I at least killed two things. I was expecting to get 6 0 uh, We move on to next week. Unfortunately, we are going to be 0-2 minus 7. But it is what it is. Next time, I'll pull the trigger on the webs instead of uh, being a chicken shit on it. <laughs> like and subscribe if you haven't, and enjoy.